guys, welcome back to my channel. Don't mind my, why is my phone on? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing a collective haul of all my goods that I've been collecting the past month or so or the trip that I've been here in Texas. Some of these products I did purchase with my own money and some of these products were sent to me as gifts or to review. If you wanna know what kind of goods I got within these past few weeks, months, whatever, then keep on watching. Okay, so I just wanna let you guys know I am in Texas still, so obviously my background is hecka different. I'm actually in the guest room right now. The lighting sucks. It's been raining literally for days and there's tile throughout this whole house. Literally, you could probably hear everything, so I hope that the mic doesn't catch it, but I feel like it will. So just bear with me. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to talk about brushes. Let's start talking about brushes. I actually got these in the mail today, and these are the new e.l.f. brushes that came out, and they look like this. And what caught my attention was I saw saw on Instagram that they had this contouring brush which looks like this and it feels so nice look at that it's just the perfect dense the perfect shortness the perfect flatness like everything about this brush is just legit I love elf's black line brush if it has a black handle it is good I love using their big flat powder brush like legit I have like three of them they're so affordable I want to say this one was six dollars though it's a little bit more than usual but for six dollars come on you know you want to pick this brush up and I'm gonna go ahead and compare it to my other faves that I've been using to contour this is the NARS Ita which looks like this and this one is my Sonia Kashuk brush that came in a limited edition uh, set I love the NARS one because it's really just lightweight. It's made out of, I believe, goat hair or something like that. But I'm going to talk more about these two just because these are literally almost the same. No, seriously, they're like almost the same. Same density, same everything. Like, If you want a comparison video, leave a comment down below and I'll take care of that. But other than that, look at this brush. Let me stop talking about that brush. The next brush I picked up from e.l.f. has to be this Ultimate Blending Brush. When I saw this brush online, it reminds me of the Real Techniques. It looks like the powder brush that they have, but it's actually totally different. It does not look anything like the Real Techniques brush. But I believe that this will work really, really well for blending. If, say if I contoured too hard, or apply too much blush, I could really just buff it out with this brush. And it's super soft, I love it. I just, I was so happy when they released this and that I just purchased it right away. The next brush that I bought from e.l.f. is this, is this contour angled brush. Just because I bought the other two, I was like, mm, let me just buy one more brush, it doesn't hurt, it's just, it was just hella cheap. But anyways, this is what it looks like, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's just slightly angled. And I figure, why not? Since cream contour is so in right now, I could definitely make like a sharp line here and there and blend it all out. So that's why I picked up this angled contour brush. And I believe this was like $3. So super affordable. And the other two brushes were uh, about $6. So next, since we're still on brushes, I wanna talk about this Delium set of five. And this is an eye brush right here eye brush, eye brush set right here. And it comes with a liner brush, gel liner brush, and it comes with a sharp tapered brush. Usually I use this in my inner corners for a highlight. It comes with a nice flat fluffy shader brush. And my brushes are dirty because I used them. So please excuse that. And this one is one of my favorite brushes and it's more of a blending fluffy tapered brush and it's just the perfect stiffness where it blends everything out so i love this and then of course a angled brush you could use it for liner or your brows and these were sent to me thank you guys they just they're really awesome and i 
I just took these to pack with me to go since I'm in Texas and it just works so nice like I love this little set here and I will link everything down below for you guys like all the products that I'm showing you guys in this video will be linked down below so you guys can check it out read reviews you know do what you want to do on researching and all that good stuff so now I'm going to move on to kits 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 what I purchased and got Ugh. So much stuff and sorry about my ratchetness I'm just wearing like a regular t-shirt it's just so gloomy outside that this is what I look like today so I want to talk about this Tarte palette right here it's super cute it's kind of rigidy it has like a little bit of snake skin on it I actually purchased this at Beautycon just because I wanted to purchase something <laughs> do you guys ever have that where you just want to purchase something just just to purchase but anyways this is 20 bucks and it looks like this it has a few gorgeous shadows in it and two blushes i just thought it was really really cute to travel in you know what i'm saying and the colors are just real real soft i'm not going to swatch it all for you just because they're just normal colors like i said it's nothing like so special where you have to have to have it but i just wanted to pick it up just because the blushes alone are like they retail for about 20 bucks so since this palette has six shadows plus two blushes I was like mm, I am going to buy it I love Tarte's blushes so this was awesome the next is the LA girl blush collection four of these palettes this is the glow one I think each one has like different names I believe but I got the coral one and this is what the colors look like I have not used this yet but I sure will tomorrow or the next day but look how pretty these colors are. There's a kind of like a poorly pink, definitely. And then I have more of like a mauvey blush. And then you have a nice matte bronzer. And then you have a nice somewhat shimmery highlight. So I'm excited to put this one into use. And I believe this is like six or eight dollars. I'm not sure. I will link it down below for you guys so you guys can check out. But I'm excited to use this. And look how cute it is. It's just nice and flat all right so next i want to talk about the kat von d shade and light contour palette like literally i'm gonna have to put my anastasia one to the side because this one is life i have used this one for a minute now i want to say for about two and a half weeks now and they look like this and it's the pigmentation so good like i've used it and you can't even see like a dent or anything yet you, i don't know you might be able to but the colors are just so amaze and they blend so beautifully like I'm not even over exaggerating and I exaggerate a lot sometimes in real life to my friends but um, these are just legit like I love the shades I love mixing them and even the lighter shades up here like literally for $46 you get so much product in here it's not even funny so I highly recommend if you're like a newbie and you don't know what kind of contour palette you need to get you should get this one just just do it next is the Anastasia cream contour kit and this is in the shade medium which looks like this I've used this a few times as well I have to say to be honest right now this is a nice little kit it is but it's more on the dry side I feel like so I've watched you know Manny and Jaclyn Hill and they told me to get the Tarte Mira Maracuja Maracuja oil something like that anyway so I would drop one drop in the colors that I'm gonna use and it makes it a lot more creamier like a lot more creamier which is a lot nicer to do but I feel like it shouldn't be this dry so I don't I seriously don't recommend this I mean I bought it already I wouldn't really recommend this to anyone like I was telling my girlfriend earlier, like I would rather use my NYX contour palette rather than this. The NYX one is just so much creamier. I just sometimes I just don't like to do that extra step. Like why do I have to make it even more creamier? Like it should already be like that. My sweet friend Vanessa sent me a whole bunch of goodies um, from LA Girl Cosmetics. And she also sent me these two liners right here. You probably can't see it. Um, I haven't opened it yet. But it, this is just like a long, Texas Longhorns orange and a nice gold-ish uh, 
gel liner. And if you guys know me and my tutorials, I love my LA Girl Glide gel liner and very black. So she sent me these two colors to give it a try, so I'm super excited about that. And she also sent me these three gorgeous little nail polishes right here. This one is Glam. This is like a nice hot pink color and I can't wait to try it. And she also sent me Muse, which looks like this. This is like a nice lilac -y purple, like a lilac -y, more of a dark side purple. And she also sent me Rubble. And these are super cute glitters. If you like glitters, uh, hello, this is for you. So this is super cute. I can't wait to try these. And she also sent me this LA Girl Fluid Line um, eyeliner, which looks like this. And the tip is really sharp, actually. Let me swatch this. Oh, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm kind of far away. But that's what it looks like right there. Well, I did stop by Ulta today and I picked up just a few things. A few things that cost me a little bit more than I wanted to. But what can you do? My husband gonna kill me again. First, I want to talk about this Smashbox Pore Minimizing uh, Foundation Primer. And it says dramatic pore reduction for 8 hours. And what really catches my attention whenever I walk into a store is when... Just, when shit when stuff says oil free like i'm such an oily person in my t-zone like i get insecure about that shit sometimes i'm like oh my god i'm greasy i saw casey holmes using this one in one of her videos I mean, i'm sure she uses a whole bunch of things or everyone does but i saw this and i was like okay i did give smashbox a try once upon a time i think i tried their photo finish primer but it was like clear or one of them was green I don't know, but it didn't work for me. So I was like, I was hesitant to buy this. But let me tell you what, when you try stuff on your hand in the store and you're like, oh, oh, okay, okay. So then I was like, man, sold, oil-free, I'm sold. So I purchased this and this was about $39. So I'm gonna try it tomorrow before I head out for the day and apply this to my face and see how it goes. I'm a sucker for buy one, get one half off. I really am. So I went ahead and I picked up some NYX products this one is the matte finish finny matte spray <laughs> setting spray and i'm all about the mattes i'm all about the mattes and i heard that these work really really well so i just picked it up just because i'm curious and i also picked up nyx blotting pla blah, 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 <laughs> nyx blotting powder and this is in light medium just to see how it would be when i apply it just to my t-zone because i'm all about setting my face so yes, I bought this, I think this was $7.99 or $6.99, and this one was like $11 or something. So I don't know, we'll see how it works. All right, so next I also picked up this Batiste dry shampoo, and I wanted to try the Lush smell. I've never tried it, but this is like a mini one, so I thought it was really, really cute to throw in like my big ass bag. I've been looking for this thing forever. And this is the Tweezer Man facial hair removal thing. I know it looks crazy, it looks retarded, right? But my friend, mother, sister said that it was bomb.com and that it works. Like, I love to get threaded. I'm just allergic to wax, so I love to get threaded all the time. And she told me this is like threading. You literally just like roll it around and it takes all your hairs. And I really hate hair like right here. Like I'm not saying I'm like a man, but you know, it gets really like dark in that area sometimes. So I can't wait to give this a try, seriously. I'm hoping that this will make it into my favorites video. Retails for $20. So it's kind of pricey, but you know, I'm gonna give this thing a try later on tonight. So I'll let you know if it works. Yesterday I went to MAC and Sephora and I also picked up another MAC lip liner and this one is called Boldly Bare and it just really caught my attention. So I picked it up but Sophia Chang said that it was like her favorite lip liner or whatever so I'm like oh, let me just go and get it. But when I went to the store and like swatched it literally I was sold. Like I hadn't I did not have second thoughts like I was like damn it I'm gonna buy this. So I love this lip liner and I cannot wait to like pair it up with pretty much all of my lip lippies. I also picked up from MAC, I got the Soft and Gentle. How do you open this? Oh, hell no. I picked up this Soft and Gentle 
Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm not going to swatch. Oh, fuck this. I'm going to swatch it. This is what it looks like. I know you guys can see that. Look how gorgeous this is. Do this on my hand real quick. OMG, look at that. I mean, to have that right up on here, girl, you need this in your life. You guys know how I feel about Anastasia's liquid lipsticks. It was a fail for me, but I actually picked up one of Kat Von D's liquid, I guess, what are they called? Liquid lipsticks, yeah. I picked up one of them, and this is in the color Jeffrey. Jeffrey. And this is just like a such, like a beautiful summer corally color. Like, look at this, let me, bam. Look at, you know you want this color, stop playing. And literally, I swatched it in Sephora, and I was walking around, for like two minutes that thing was stuck on my hand it did not budge it did not move like i can't wait to see and feel it on my lips like i hope that this stuff is legit on sephora right now i'm gonna stick with sephora i actually picked up the Too faced hangover primer and i have to say i don't know if it's done anything for me i feel like my skin is recovering from some of the products that i have used and kind of broke out i feel like it's it's really hydrating um, but other than that, I feel like it makes me oilier, if that makes any sense. Like, I, feel, I don't think the stuff controls oil. So, I don't know, I'm gonna give it a few more tries, see how I like it. But it smells weird to me. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it smells weird. And I can't even compare what this smell smells like. It just, I don't like the way it smells. That's for sure. I also picked up this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and it's supposed to be oil free again i don't know if this stuff helps me just because i've been using these two combos together which i probably need to not use this just to really test this out i haven't found any kind of setting spray that has worked like my mac fix plus i love my mac fix plus but i didn't bring it with me to texas just because i wanted to experience and see how this stuff has worked and i've used a little bit of it as well already which is a good thing i haven't I didn't break out or anything from this, so I feel like that's a good thing. But like I said, I don't know if it like really works. And lastly, what I got from Sephora was the Becca Opal um, highlighter, which looks like this, super gorgeous as well. Like this highlighter to me is like not natural. Like this highlighter is if you want to be noticed with shimmer on your effing face, this is your go-to highlighter. Like, I think this would be awesome for like an event, a night out, or to go out and party with your friends. But I wouldn't wear this every day. Like, I feel like it's not necessary to have that much shimmer on your face, but it's definitely a must-have if you are a makeup hoarder, like me. And I have some things that were sent to me from Girlactic. Look how cute this packaging is. Like, come on, it is just, nice and sturdy and just like great quality packaging and this is actually one of her face glows and this is in the color bronze i'm all about the highlighters right now i don't know what it is so this is what it looks like in the packaging it may look like it's a little bit darker but this is actually what i have on my highlight today and it's just beautiful. I can't wait to use her natural highlighter. That, I guess she's still out of stock, so I can't wait to try that as well. It's also her lip paints. I, I think she created some new colors and she recreated some of the formulas, so I'm super excited to give those a test. Moving on though to her other product, this is one of her blushes and this is in the color Havana. It's just so, so pigmented. I'm not even joking. I'm actually wearing Havana on my cheeks. Why am I doing this? I'm actually wearing Havana on my cheeks right now and it's just absolutely stunning. It is like the best everyday wear color like ever. Like this is, you need to grab this one. And she has a wonderful selection of colors. She really does and it. They're very wearable, very everyday. You could wear it up or you could wear it down, like whatever you're feeling. Her line is just legit, it's beautiful. And she sent me a few other products as well. I just didn't bring it with me to Texas, so I'm just showing you guys what I have at the moment here, which is probably a lot, because this isn't even like all of my makeup. I brought a suitcase just for makeup. Just for makeup. Don't judge, okay? Don't judge me. I did go to Walgreens the other day and pick up 
this Rimmel BB cream and it I was sold by it because it said matte and I haven't opened it yet but this is in the shade light medium so we'll see how that goes I, I haven't opened it yet but moving on why am I holding up these lashes okay well since I'm already holding these up I'll go ahead and talk about it I was on Lady Moss I think that's what it's called but these are cocoa lashes this is the first time I actually ordered cocoa lashes and I ordered uh, three pairs another pair I think the other pair was called cocoa and this one is goddess which is super super pretty just like the perfect band with a whole bunch of lashes on it like i feel like these are like triple layered these are gonna be wabam on my asian eyes and i always see asian girls wearing cocoa lashes and they just look so beautiful on their eyes i always struggle with finding the right lashes for my eye shape because Sometimes with my eye shape, if I wear certain lashes, if they're too short, they don't do anything. So I have to have like long and luscious fake lashes for my eyes to really pop. So this is Goddess. The next one is Misha and my girlfriend, Lauren. She loves these lashes. XO Lauren Q. I don't know if you guys have seen her around, but she is on YouTube as well. And these are her favorite, so I had to pick these up as well. And these look like... They'd be super natural yet super fluttery. So I haven't tried these on yet, but this is what it looks like. And I have Coco, but I used them already and they're somewhere. I think I've worn Coco in one of my videos. The last makeup thing I'm going to talk about, and these actually made it into my favorites video. This is actually by L'Oreal and this is the Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation. Okay, so I wanted to tell you guys I'm a sucker for matte. I don't know how many times I gotta say it in this video, but every time I see foundations like this, I usually like look at it, try it, buy it. Doesn't work out for me, okay? But this stuff, Lord, it almost replaced my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation, like almost almost but i've been wearing this for the past like week and a half and this is actually what i have on my face right now it is just matte and it's just like it's perfect like i love it it really does control my oils at the end of the day i'll be a little bit oily but it's nothing bad to compare to like other stuff that i've tried i also got the setting powder that you know was in their same line just because it was buy one get one half off at walgreens <laughs> you know i had to the setting powder goes really really well with it i love it sometimes i feel like this shade what shade am i in this i'm in shade natural beige sometimes when i look in the mirror i feel like it's a little off but then i look in a different lighting and then it matches i don't know it just may be the lighting but i feel like this color really was a perfect match for me and them together is amazing. If you buy this foundation, you need to buy the pressed powder and just use it together. Lastly, in my haul, it's not makeup related. Maybe I should add things that aren't makeup related in here. I don't know. But I picked up these gorgeous shoes. Like, look how gorgeous this is. And I guess this is the, the Rampage brand. Am I pronouncing this right? Rampage? Rampage brand? And I saw these at Macy's and I had to pick it up. They were pretty affordable. I think they're $39, but I got them on sale. I got, I think I got them for like 20% off. So they came out to be like $31, but they're so comfortable. And I just think that it's so cute because it's like the little gladiator type of thing, but it doesn't like rise up your whole entire leg. It's just like kind of like a midi looking thing. I actually came down to Texas. I didn't even bring any sandals because everything was in storage yeah i have like summer clothes in storage summer shoes in storage so i swap them out i always make my husband like take big ass bins i'm like okay get my other shit out he's like he thinks i'm crazy he's like there's no need for you to have this much shit but what can i do i cannot help it i want to apologize for the lighting i'm it's starting to get darker outside so as you can see it looks a little i look a little bit more washed out but i'm gonna go ahead and end this video because that's all i have in my haul so i hope you guys enjoyed this long ass haul i hope the video wasn't that long leave a comment down below if you guys want to see anything else or any kind of comparison products or whatever you guys want me to do a video on and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!